channel. Today I have a first impressions video for you. We're going to be trying a few different things that I received in my BoxyCharm this month. Um, we have an eyeshadow palette, a setting spray, an eyebrow pencil, and a translucent powder duo. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Alright, the first thing we're going to try out today is going to be a Blink Electric Eyes palette. This is in conjunction with BoxyCharm. The package looks like and here are what the shadows look like I have swatched a few of them but I have not used any of them at all yet and I do like on the back of the palette it has the shades here and it says it's an electric combination of jewel toned eyeshadows swipe these shades across your eyes for a bold look So we're just going to come up with something just to try them out, you know, not a specific look in mind or anything, just going to go in with a few of them to see what our thoughts are. Alright, and I think on the, lo the lid I'm going to first go in with the middle shade. It's kind of like a rose gold type shade and I have already primed my lid using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and start packing this on. Wow, they're really nice. Super soft and I'm not having any trouble at all applying it and it's going on super pigmented as you can see. These look great so far. Wow, just off of that one use, I would say. I'm already impressed. I can tell I'm going to love these and get a lot of use out of them. Right. And I do want to use some of this kind of a burgundy wine shade. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on the outer corner. And lightly into the crease a little bit there. really pretty too. really like those so far. Um, I am just going to go back in with my transition shade which is not a first impression it's just a shade I'm using out of the Carly Bible palette. It's the very first shade in the palette. This peachy tone shade here in case you're wondering. And I'm just going to go over to kind of make sure we don't have too harsh line too harsh of a line here. already have my foundation on but I don't have my concealer on just yet so I'm going to go ahead and apply that real quick. The next thing that we're going to try out today is by Bare Minerals. It's their Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. Here's what the package looks like and there's the back. They have a matte and a glow shade. When you open it up it has plastic covering over, has the sides marked matte glow. So what I'm going to do, it also has a nice mirror. Um, what I'm going to do is take the matte side and use that to set the concealer. I take the matte side and just put a little on. I'm not sure about flashback on it yet, so I'm a little nervous to be honest. But let's see. I'm 
go ahead and take that all over just to kind of set everything. On first impression, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but I don't find anything too special about it. It doesn't do anything differently than any other powders I've tried. I, it's nothing that's blowing me out of the water. Nothing that gives me a wow factor. Like, oh, it's a great powder. It's kind of working just like any other translucent powder I've used. I don't see that it has flashbacks so far, which is nice because a lot do. But other than that, I don't find anything special so far. We'll see how it makes the makeup last. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the glow side here. And I'm just gonna apply some of this like we would a highlighter. I have a feeling it's not gonna be a bam in your face highlighter, but we'll see what it does. And as you can see, the highlight gives just a nice natural glow. It's nothing too intense at all. But it is nice, especially if you are someone who doesn't like a bam in your face highlighter that's obvious you have highlight on. I think this would be great for those of you who like that or if you're doing kind of like a no makeup makeup day and just want a nice glow, this would work great for that. The next thing that we have to try is an eyebrow pencil by Winky Lux called their unibrow universal eyebrow pencil it says one brow pencil to rule them all simplify your brow game with this two-step pencil its firm texture gives you maximum control so anyone can be a brow boss so let's see has a spoolie on one side and then on the other oh it has kind of like a triangular tip to it I don't know if you can I have never used one with a tip this shape before, so let's see how this goes. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I'm used to a skinnier eyebrow pencil and this one kind of makes it hard to give you those hair like strokes. It's usable, but I like I said, I prefer something with a thinner tip so that you can really go in and make those hair like strokes. And that one you kind of turn on the side to get a point on is not my cup of tea. I, I really need a smaller tip than that or something that is easier to kind of turn on its side to get to the point its side to kind of because I go in and underline just the bottom I don't like lining the top and bottom and then you get kind of that boxy shape I like mine to be more of a lighter natural feel to them so I just go in and kind of line the bottom to get the shape I want and fill in the sparse areas and then brush it up and then up out and this one with how fat it is it's hard to do that at least for me I mean some people might like this everyone has their own preference but the shape of this kind of ruined it for me now the texture and the way it applied is great but just having that large of a tip for me is a no-go all right I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup and what I'm gonna do now is try out a new setting spray for the first time and this one's called project beauty spray set go makeup setting spray it says, after applying makeup, mist lightly, holding the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face, allow 5 seconds to dry. Now you're set. And it 
clean to keep your makeup fresh all day long. Just spray, set, and go. Let's go ahead and do a first mist because a lot of times the first mist kind of has, comes out weird and can leave dots. So let's see how it sprays. Okay, seems to be a decent sprayer. Whoa. <sighs> a lot comes out at once. I'm just gonna do my normal thing here and tap it in. It's pretty powerful. It kinda caught me off guard. It, it came out so much at once. I'm used to more of a fine mist. And this one kind of soaks your face with one spray, so that did kind of catch me off guard. And I applied a little more than I normally would do to that. Um, and I do normally, like you saw, I will always, once I spray, take my beauty blender and just kind of pounce it over it. So it kind of sets everything into place nice and kind of pushes that setting spray into the foundation and powder and everything that you have on to really lock it into place. And so that it's not sitting kind of on top of your skin or if you have any peach fuzz here like most of us do um, that'll kind of keep it from sitting on top of that so I am going to wear this throughout the day and what I'll do is in the description box I'll leave you guys my comments and my final thoughts I have some errands to run it is hot out so we'll see how this stuff wears and I'll leave you my final thoughts in the description box below and let you know how I felt they wore and what my final thoughts are on the products if you've tried any of these definitely let me know these are things that I got at BoxyCharm this month which is something I just started subscribing to so I thought that I would give these products a try and share my thoughts with you guys. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see next from me. And as always, don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. And thanks for watching. Bye.